How's it going guys? I just got back from cast hunting and I caught the biggest shad I've ever caught in a cast net. Look how big this thing is. This thing is probably seven, 16, 17 inches right there. I mean, it goes all the way up my arm. It's crazy. Uh, it probably weighs close to a pound and a half and uh, it'll be perfect food. I also got some other decent size one. This is probably a seven, eight inch one. And then this is another giant right here. I'm gonna feed this big shad here. Oh, there's one coming for it. Oh, you got it. All right, we got the second big one here. It's probably about 10 inches. I'm gonna give it a dangle and see if a big bass eats here. I want to give you all a little update about the pond. I have not seen Blind Savage in about six, seven months. I don't know what happened to her. All of a sudden she just disappeared. So I don't know if she just couldn't find enough food or forgot about the feeding or I don't know what. But I haven't seen Garfield in about a month. Garfield, as soon as it got cold, I haven't seen. So with this shad, I'm actually going to cut them up. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want any of this fish to choke on it. Um, a 13 pounder could eat this shad pretty easily, but I don't know about an 8 or 9 pounder, which is the biggest I have in here. So I'm going to cut them up just to be safe. Well, I got it all cut up into small strips, and now I can feed them to the bass. I got a couple shad chunks left. I'm gonna throw them all in at once, but they destroy them. Gosh, they're flying out of the water. I got a few little shad left in this bucket. I'm gonna try to set this up. There we go. There. These fish are actually getting ready to spawn soon, so they got to fatten up. Well guys, I enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for the next video. Thank y'all for watching.